70 years after the experiment was set up, the scientists have at last reached their goal. 70 years ago, a colleague of Nobel Prize winning physicist Ernest Walton began an experiment in Trinity College. He wanted to see if the hard black carbonic substance pitch was viscous or able to flow. He placed lumps in a funnel, the funnel in a jar and the whole experiment in a dusty cupboard. Once a decade a drip formed and fell, but because it was never witnessed, the theory was never definitively proven. A few weeks ago, however, physicists in the department noted a drip was again forming. They set up a webcam to film round the clock and last Thursday, as this time-lapse footage shows, the drip finally dropped. The viscosity is very high. It's about two million times the viscosity of honey. It's a pretty crazy experiment and uh, we do crazy things in science. The experiment is thought to be among the longest running in the world, beaten only by another in Australia, functioning since the 1920s, although its trips have never been witnessed. The scientific value is questionable, but according to the physicists, that doesn't matter. It was amazing. It was such a good day in work. For me, it summed up why I like being a scientist. It, it acts as a catalyst for curiosity, and that's, for me, what the driving force of science is. All good science stems from conversations about science. It's unlikely, though, that the staff here at the School of Physics in Trinity College will be waiting around for this to happen again, because it's likely to take another decade before the drop drips. Will the Buddy RTE News, 